sorry about the background noise just because beyond this wall right back here is a trailer with a big diesel motor on it that continues running trying to keep what's inside the trailer at negative 10 degrees nothing I could do about it it shuts on and off when need be anyway today's vlog I, I it, it's about the same things I've been posting on my daily vlog channel just a little bit more thoughts on a product I just purchased recently it's in this box it's in this box right here I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts and initial impressions after owning it for about three days and uh, let's get on with it I, I'm ter I did the unboxing and everything on the other channel so if you guys have subscribed to my daily vlog channel you know what's in this box it's a drone it's bigger than this drone definitely it's, it's, it's a little bit bigger than that one not much the one I purchased also fits in the palm of my hand just not as easy this, this one's pretty easy the drone I purchased if I can plug this one back in dun, 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 was created by DJI Yes, the same people that make my Phantom drone. This one is the DJI Spark. It's the Spark, y'all. Would you look at that? This is not the basic $4.99 pack. This is the Fly More pack, which comes with two extra two extra batteries and if I can find it, an incredible bag that houses, if I can unzip it here, a controller. It also comes with a controller. So let me leave the controller out because I want to talk about this. I have a list of things I want to talk about for initial impressions. Put it there. All right, so uh, the very first day I got this drone, I read zero instructions, no instructions whatsoever and uh, was able to fly it without the controller, without a cell phone, without anything other than my facial recognition and hand movements, which was kind of cool. I want, I've been looking at a lot of videos on YouTube thinking to myself, can a drone be that easy to operate? I mean, my bigger drones, they're pretty simple. They're automated, they connect to the satellites, they can return home, if the battery's low or if you hit the button, say return home, and it'll fly home and land semi-close to the area where it departed from. Supposedly, this one is really accurate. I have not tried a, a, a test where I fly it out, hit return home, and see how close it lands to where it took off from. I am gonna do that test on another video, but it'll probably be on my other channel. Uh, but right out of the box, right when I right when I opened this box right here and found this inside and this awesome bag, um, I said, you know what? I've seen videos on YouTube how easy this thing is to fly. And I'm, I'm not going to read any instructions. I'm going to pop open the box, make sure the batteries are charged real fast, slide the battery on, and boot it up and see how easy it is. Can can somebody that's never flown a drone just pick one of these up right here? Take it out of the box. Pick one of these. Let me put a battery on too. Oh, slide the battery on so you get the whole view of this thing. See, it's not much. It's not much bigger. It still fits in the palm of the hand pretty well. Can someone open this up right out of the box? Press the button back here. Hold it. Click click and have it fly up out of the palm of your hand, hover, and be able to control it with your hand by different gestures like track your hand, wave your hand to send it off, do the this here to take a picture, and then do this to make it come back to you and then put your hand out and have it land. It worked. It worked pretty well the very first time I tried it. There were a little bit of hiccups with, it, it was user error. My gestures were either too fast or 
clumsy. I, I was clumsy because I didn't read the instructions. I wanted to see what it was like just out of the box, no instructions, no going online, looking at YouTube videos on how to do this, how to do that. Just how simple is it? It worked. It worked as advertised. So I was pleasantly surprised about that. So people have been asking me on my other channel, in my other videos, is it worth it? Is it worth it for me? Somebody that's never flown drones before, what are the benefits of it? What are not the benefits of it? Um, just things like that. Um, let's see what is first thing price. It's it's pretty affordable. Now, it does have a 1080p camera on the front. Let's see that there on a on a two axis gimbal, not a three axis gimbal. This is a two axis gimbal, and it, it, it's it's pretty stable, being it being it is a two axis gimbal, and the 1080p video footage is not actually too bad but for the same for a little bit cheaper you can have a better drone uh, DJI I, you could probably go to Walmart pick up a DJI Phantom 3 standard which has a 1080p camera but it's a 3 axis gimbal so it's it's really stable for 399 bucks right out of the box be able to fly do everything it's autonomous it's a great drone 399 bucks right out of the box ready to go but it's a bigger drone it's more stable and high wind everything else so the dji phantom series drones are a much better purchase than something like this i, I I'm, not, I'm not slagging this because i really enjoy it but if you're you're looking at a cheaper drone that can do more in different environments, higher wind and stuff like that. You're, you're looking at a Phantom, and at three ninety nine, that's a great price. This is about a hundred dollars more, just for the drone. This is four ninety nine, just for this. You, when you when you get it, you open up the box. This is all you get. You get one battery, the drone. That, that's four hundred ninety nine bucks. Now for the Fly More package add another 100 200 bucks to that you get the controller extra props extra battery and stuff like that so that jacks it up to about 700 dollars. so the pack i got is 700 dollars. and if you can afford it and you're looking at a starter drone get the fly more package spend the extra 200 bucks get the extra battery because these batteries don't last very long the phantoms i can get 22 to 26 minutes on a battery this here I get about 12 minutes of flight time with the battery. But the great thing about the batteries on this is they can be charged via USB, micro USB. Let's see here, let me open it. So as long as the drone is on the battery, you can just plug a micro USB port or plug right, right there and charge the drone. So if you have a, a cigarette lighter that has a USB adapter, you can plug in your cigarette lighter, you can charge your drone while driving down the road. The bigger phantoms you can't do that and another great thing these batteries charge fairly fast compared to the phantom batteries so a lot of people on the youtube videos have been going wow for the price this is dji's cheapest drone of most affordable you know it, and it really is for what you get you get sensors down here so it knows where the ground is you get sensors up here on the camera so when it's doing the facial recognition and you get avoidance obstacle avoidance up here so you get a lot packed in for the price for that extra hundred dollars that you would pay on a phantom 3 but um, the phantom 3 is 399 bucks right now so when people are telling you this is the cheapest DJI drone you can get right now it, it's not the phantom 3 standard version is 399 this is 499 but that being said the technology inside this thing is freaking insane it, it's it, it's like i said you get the sensors you get avoid obstacle avoidance you get fast charging it's it is a intelligent battery so the what the battery is doing the heat how much heat it's producing, how much time is left, how many times it's been cycled, how many times it's been charged, is all available within the application. So 
because if it's all Wi-Fi, this puts out its own Wi-Fi signal, you can get all the battery stats on, on the, within the application. It, it's, it's really great. A lot of people, when they talk about this drone, they really don't talk about the battery. You know, they talk about how short of a flight time you get, but they don't talk about what is intelligent about it. And, and the intelligence is you can monitor your battery. And it, it's, it's pretty impressive. And the drone, once it's connected, talks to the battery. So if there's any issues with the battery, the computer within the drone will take the information from the battery. Say, if it says, okay, you have only so much flight time available left in the battery, the drone knows that, sends a signal back to your your mobile device or your controller, or it may just bypass it and come home, say, hey, we, we there's something wrong with your battery, I'm coming home, and it'll land. So it, it's, I like the autonomous thing, but first, we're, that's something else we'll talk about, but right now, price, it's not the cheapest, but it's right up there with the cheapest, and you do get more features, you know, with that extra $100, right out of the box, even if you're just getting this, because you can control this without other devices. It just works. Wasn't that a slogan for another company? I don't know. Size, portability, yeah. Okay, so it may not be as portable as something like this. You know, that's, that's, that's tiny. But yeah, let's do a comparison. Let's, let's set that on there. See, that, so this, this is, that's it right there. Look at, look, would you look at that? Would you look at the size of this? But the other day I was on my Segway and I didn't have to throw a backpack on. I didn't have to bring my big drone with me and, and then get to where I was going and then put the propellers on and snap the battery in and, and go through the whole rigmarole that you have to do when you carry a bigger drone with you. This did actually, because the propellers are always on, they do snap off for replacement really easy. They're spring loaded, but you can fold these in and I was wearing a, I was wearing a hoodie. This went right inside my hoodie pocket, no problem. I, I was able to carry it without having to put a 20 pound backpack on. And, and I'm sure if you wore like baggy pants or swim trunks with a side pocket that's pretty good size, you know, to put your wallet and stuff in and your swim trunks, this would actually fit in pretty easy. The arms don't fold like the Mavic does, which maybe in the next generation of Sparks, these arms will be folding down and fold in. And then this is the Samsung, what, one, what phone is this? This is the Galaxy S7 Edge. It is actually bigger than the body of the drone. Can you see that? It's bigger than the drone body. So if these arms folded in, it would it would actually be a very tiny and portable drone. So I'm I'm hoping I don't know I'm I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to CES in Las Vegas this year and hit the DJI booth like I've been doing every year. Um, but I would I would be curious to talk to some DJI people and see if that is in the works, if they're planning on doing something like that you know keep it about the same price point and having folding arms here that it would be great dji get on it um yeah so portability size it, it, it is an issue a lot of times if i'm gonna have time to get out and fly my drone and and i want to take some great video out in the ocean or over some swamps or down in the everglades i'm probably going to use my bigger phantom yeah, I'm, I'm terrible on video. I'm terrible. I'm a terrible drone pilot. I'm not a professional. I'm just a nobody. But I do enjoy these things. But and if I do want a pretty cool aerial picture or some video for my YouTube channels, I'll mo more than likely pull out the Phantom. But if I just need quick little snippets and run and gun type stuff where I don't have to unpack that thing and do all sorts of crazy setup process, this works just fine. It's great for YouTube. It's, I don't think it's great for professional content makers, but for someone like me, with just a few subscribers and stuff like that, and being able to go out and have fun and add little clips here and there, here and there, this is a good drone for it. It's it's portable, very very portable. Control. Okay, so like I said, you could control it right out of the box, right with your hand, just like yeah, you just. Click this button two times, the lights kick on, click it two more times, it recognizes your face via the camera, and then 
this the camera will rotate down there's some sensors here and it will just lock onto you and then you put your hand up and you could fly it. It, it it works really well and there is I, I've seen in other videos where they go yeah the bad thing is you can take pictures snapshots just by doing something like that but there's no way to activate it for video there is there is a motion for video yeah you stand out in the field and look stupid doing all these hand gestures and stuff like that and uh, the video one is no different so you put one arm out down one arm up and it'll start recording video I don't know how to stop the video maybe you do that again I, I don't know but that's what you got to do and it can record video by gestures also uh, another way to control it bah, 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 is this awesome little controller it's amazing it works awesome it has a little these things fold down snap your mobile device into it and use that to see what the camera sees works great I love this thing another way to control it is your mobile device so there's actually three ways to control this you can use this as remote control it doesn't go very far it, because the Wi-Fi has to connect from the drone to this so you, you're limited in distance much like you are with hand gestures this here you can get these little this little thing at, at Best Buy that costs nine dollars or something it snaps on the back here boosts your signal a little bit for nine dollars and I think you can go like 10,000 feet I don't know how many miles 10,000 feet is but it's pretty far <coughs> especially for something this size I mean it's way out of distance way out of sight at that far shoot it's way out of sight at 500 feet it's so tiny now the controls this is the problem the issue I've been having with iOS DJI seems to have no issue, no problem. I mean, even with the Osmos, like I'm recording right now with an Osmo Mobile. On my window over here, I have a regular Osmo. All Everything works great with iOS for some reason. I think it's because iOS hasn't really been updated in seven years. It's always the same phone, same pretty much same software with little incremental upgrades. So every time a company creates something, it's easy to develop something for something that hasn't changed in generations and generations. Uh, Apple stopped innovating many, many years ago, and so developers and stuff have an easy time developing for it because they know it's always going to be the same. Android, on the other hand, on, on the other hand, any Android phone I have, there, there's so many irritations, irritations, is that the proper word? I don't, I don't know. There's so many versions, not of Android, but of different different OEMs. So you got Samsung, you got Motorola, you got LG. These are both uh, Google Nexus devices, by the way. Um, pretty much, there's so many different Android phones out there that DJI and other companies have a hard time keeping up with the OEMs. So one of the complaints I've been hearing since I've gotten the Spark a couple days ago is it doesn't work well with Android. Works great with iOS, doesn't work well with Android. True, for the most part. I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I have a lot of Android devices. I have one iOS device, and I have found that iOS is the best way to fly this drone. I, I don't know why. My other, the Phantom, sometimes with the Galaxy S8 Plus works great. Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, the application doesn't work because it says doesn't format to the side of the size of the screen or something. But it's the let's face it, this phone is basically the same as the S8 Plus, both rounded edges, long long design, so. I don't know why they're having an issue with that but there is a way around it and what I found is when you purchase a new phone because the way you normally hook things up is um, let's see here the way you normally hook the, the mobile devices up to sync with the controller because so you have to sync your mobile device to the Wi-Fi that this puts out and then the Wi-Fi this puts out you sync with the signal that's coming from the drone 
Now, you don't need a phone. You can just fly it with this, as long as you keep it line of sight so you don't lose it. But in your telephone cases, every time you buy a new phone, you get one of these little things. Whether it's an iOS or an Android device, you always get these little dongle adapters. They come in every single box. Don't throw those things away, especially if you're planning on flying drones. Because on the bottom of the controllers, there is a, a charging port right here, a little micro USB charging port. You could take that little dongle, plug it in, and then you plug the USB part into that. So let's see if we can do this here. Let's, 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 let me hook it up right, let's see here. So you plug the other end into your phone like this, slap, slap, slap that in your drone handle, boom, boom, boom. There you go. It, this does not have to read the Wi-Fi from this. It's just a direct connect line. Android works fine like that, no issue. And actually a little bit better because you get better video quality. You're not relying on that feed from the Wi-Fi to, to show your image here through from the camera on the drone. So that's that's a great way around it. Uh, I And I prefer doing that anyway. That's why that's always left in here. Though lately I have been flying this with iOS. So, But I, you can leave this in. I mean, it's not not hurting anything leaving it in there so it just gives you options options okay camera I've talked about it 1080p with a little two axis gimbal so it does do the yaw and the camera does tilt up and down it's pretty stable pretty stable image the one thing I really really like about this camera sometimes you'll see drone footage and if you're hauling butt, you know, in sport mode or whatever, but you're shooting video while you're in sport mode or just going fairly fast, drones tend to tilt down a little bit to go faster. So they'll, they'll, they'll and uh, I like those sound effects. When you do that, on, like on the Phantom drones, you'll get propellers in the camera shot, unless you tilt the camera down a little bit as you're flying. But if, you're, if your camera's straight, you're going to get those propellers in your shot. You're not going to get those with this drone. For some reason, the cameras down here, the propellers are up high, almost directly above the body, where on the other drones, the, the propellers are out a little bit further. So as it goes forward, you're going to get those propellers in the shot. I get no... I, I've flown this pretty fast and have and tried to get the propellers into the shot. I, I couldn't do it, even with the camera totally tipped flat. 1080p uh, pretty good quality uh, so far I and mean, the colors the colors have been excellent you know though I have been looking at the colors not on the iPhone because I, I'm not really into that retina flat look that Apple has but I have been looking at it at, at, on the displays of the Samsung's and, and with the color saturation and everything and it, it's been pretty amazing video clarity and the colors and even when you shoot it to the bigger to a TV it, it, it's 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 kind of like HDR almost it, it's it's that vivid uh, ease of use okay like I this is the last last subject ease of use like I said the very first day I got it it was raining so I couldn't use it the next day it was raining could not use it third day I woke up in the morning sun was peeking out and I go you know what let's let's grab let's grab this thing ripped open the box did a quick unboxing took it outside put it in my hand boom took right off hovered right in front of me and and stared at me with the camera I just put my hand up for about two seconds I took control with palm palm of my hand that was the I, I went through two batteries testing all the functions out of the of the movements and stuff and then later that evening, after recharging the batteries, made it down into Florida, broke out the right, I, I broke out first, I, I, I tried flying it with the phone after that. And very responsive, was able to use all the functions of the drone, the follow me features, the tracking features, and some of the special features within the camera to do special effects type things like circular as it goes up, and or the fly away as it's, focusing on you and the camera just flies away off into the distance. You can do all that with the phone pretty easy. So I did that. 
very easy to use. Synced up my phone to the controller, went to use the controller and do some long distance flying. Very easy if you're used to video games. It, it's pretty much like playing a video game. You watch the monitor, you don't have to even watch the drone and you just fly. Mm -hmm. And I took it, took it, took it out. Ease of use, it couldn't be easier. I the only thing I ever needed to look up, and it wasn't on YouTube or it wasn't in any instructions, it was within the application itself. How come I can't sync the Wi-Fi to my phone? I just I and and the instructions were right there. It was really easy. You just double tap the battery and hold, and it, it starts to send out a signal and then on your phone you just go to your Wi-Fi, search for your drone, click it, type in 12341234 as the password, boom, done. I yeah, that, I, I know I should have known that, but I didn't. So ease of use, freaking amazing. It, it, it's pretty much all automated. Who is this drone for? Which is what everybody asks in every other YouTube video. It's not for the professionals. Not, not for not for the youtubers that have three million subscribers it's not for it's not for those people it's for someone like me that travels a lot needs portability can deal with 1080p video I mean let's if I'm looking at 4k or 2k or something like that a lot of 1080p video isn't much different I mean to my eyes so it's not I can't even edit 4k. So if I shot, if I was shooting this in 4K right now, it would be useless to me because I can't edit it anyway. 1080p is easy to edit, uh, to slap together something really fast. It, it, this is a pretty amazing device. This is for me. It's not for the beginners. It's for somebody that has maybe one drone, has flown a drone a couple times, wants to get into the hobby a little more, maybe take aerial pictures, maybe shoot some short little videos for... YouTube like this um, that's who it's for it's not really for kids I couldn't recommend getting a 10 year old this drone it's a little one thing it's pretty expensive you know even if you get the 499 one that's 500 bucks rounded up one dollar yeah that'd be a $500 purchase just just to be able to let it fly out of your hand and control it for a few seconds and take a couple pictures because that's all you could basically do and what you could do follow me so, which is kind of cool by gestures, um, but it's not for kids. Unless your kid's been flying drones for a while. I mean, kids are pretty smart. So, if you're like, say, you got a ten or twelve year old child that's been flying drones for a year or two, yeah, they may like this. But if it's a new a new child, you're gonna get disappointed when they lose the drone into a into a tree. Or it's hard to hit trees with it. It does beep beep and it does stop, but uh, it won't. For the most part, it won't let it run into anything, but there's there's that chance. You know, a, a kid could be playing with it, doing this, bystanders over here, smack them with the drone. You got, you can still got to be careful. Um, yeah, so that, that's who it's for. Uh, one quick question that people have been asking me before I sign off here. Do you need FAA numbers or a license? You don't need a license unless you're going to sell your videos or photography. You're going to profit off of those or do something like that but you do need your FAA number now you can use the same number on numerous drones that you own so the same number I use on my Phantom I have for this one there's just really no place to put the long number so I actually wrote it on this arm and finished it up on this arm so if my drone ever gets lost or does any damage and they retrieve my drone and go oh we know whose drone that is because the FAA number is right there and they can contact me and go hey we found your drone it broke a window two miles away you know you're, you're, you, have, you owe these people a new window and come pick up your drone or whatever they use the numbers for I don't know um, but yes you do need the FAA numbers you can go to the FAA website and you could go to the on-man aircraft section of their website pay three dollars or five dollars I don't know how much it is you get a number that is good for as many drones as you own and I think it's good for a few years like three years or something and then you have to re-register real fast so yes even with the as small as the spark is you do need that number so get it if you buy a drone 
that should be the first thing you do as you're doing the setup process. Do the setup while the, while the drone is updating. It takes about 30 minutes out of the box to do the updates. During that process, go on your phone, go to the FAA website, get that number, and, and then after it's done updating, put it somewhere visible on your drone and uh, get out and start flying. All right, everybody, this has just been a quick newbie. I mean, I'm a newbie at this one. I'm a newbie at the other one, too, even though I've had it for two years. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm not, I'm not a professional pilot or anything like that. So it, it, it's just something I do to kill time and add to my videos. And uh, it's just my thoughts on it for at least four battery cycles that I've went through. All right, everybody, I am out of here. Thank you guys for watching, and I love you all. Talk to you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.